legit, every time I go to use my turn signal now, I think of Sandra Bland. Hey guys, it's Candy. I'm on my way to get a drink at Starbucks. I still haven't decided if I want a coffee or a tea this morning. But, I am headed to Starbucks and I wanted to... It's funny, I take my vlogging camera pretty much everywhere just in case this kind of thing happens. But, I'm sure most of you... All of you should have heard of the Sandra Bland case that happened in Texas. If you haven't, just to give you a little bit of history real quick on it, Sandra Bland was a black woman who had moved from Chicago to Texas. She took a job at her alma mater, A&M University, and had started a whole new life in Texas. She was driving, there was a cop up her ass, literally like on her ass, and I mean, I'm going to assume just like the rest of us, she got anxious and like, oh my god, there's a cop riding my ass, so she moved over so that he could go past her. Now, when she moved over, she failed to use a turn signal, which I know is such a big fucking crime, because here in Florida, our cops don't even use turn signals. Like, nobody, I am one of the only people that use a fucking turn signal in the state of Florida, I think. But anyhow, that's here nor there. She didn't use a turn signal. Big fucking deal. And this cop pulled her over. Now, when he pulled her over, he had an attitude from the star. And she had attitude because she was perturbed that she got pulled over because all she was simply trying to do was get the fuck out of the guy's way. So, he says something to her like, uh, looks like you're perturbed. Or, he didn't say that, but basically saying like, what's going on? You okay? You seem upset. And she says, yeah, I'm a, yeah, officer, I'm upset. You're riding me and I got over and here we are but it is what it is so whatever now he kept egging her on he continued to be very dicky there's a video um, of it all over the internet all you have to do is look it up if you haven't seen it and he continued to be very dick bag about it and proceeded to remove her from her car threatened to light her up meaning tase her if she didn't get out of her car all guys because she didn't use a turn signal long story short she went to jail three days later she was found dead in her jail cell and they say it was suicide by hanging so um the thing is is sandra bland was an activist she was a black a black lives matter activist she was all about equality and about um you know love and she was religious which i'm not but you know i guess what i'm getting at with this is how does somebody who is religious and very happy about life and activist and about to start a new career how in the world did that person commit suicide in jail just in a, in a couple days? It's not like she was there for a very long time. So that doesn't really add up. Also, what doesn't add up is that they're saying now that she had a huge amount of marijuana in her system. They're saying either she was a chronic cannabis user, which okay um if that's all she used for pain and anything other element she had there's really nothing wrong with that it's legal for medicinal and recreational in some states i don't really get why that's such a big deal or they're saying that she ingested it in jail now sandra was put not in solitary but she was in a cell by herself there has been an inmate who was across the cell from her that had had a couple words with her nice exchange and said they didn't hear anything like anything crazy or whatever so who knows the real story of what really happened um there are back and forth some people say her mugshot was post-mortem there are some reasons like her shoulders aren't angled they're straight across and um looks like she's laying on the floor and i do agree with those things but you know i'm not going to let my conspiracy theorist brain take over that i'm just going to go with the facts that we know and what we know is that officer completely should have never arrested sandra bland for fucking failing to use a turn signal right what we have here is the classic scenario of she disrespected a police officer and they're not, they call that the biggest crime in America. Legit, every time I go to use my turn signal now, I think of Sandra Bland. 
every single time I go to use my turn signal, I think of that woman who got pulled over by some asinine police officer with a little dick who had nothing better to do than to harass a lady because his dick felt small because she re she disrespected his authority because she had something to say to him that wasn't like yes officer i'm sorry i'm sorry that's why that woman is dead that is why because she quote unquote disrespected a police officer that scares the fuck out of me that scares the fuck out of me and you know what our officers want that to happen they want us to be scared they want us to be scared because when let's say here's conspiracy theorists coming out that people are, but let's say martial law comes around guys they want us to be fucking afraid and that's what they're doing this whole situation really 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 bothers me it's it's just it's so absurd that you can get pulled over for something so minor and <laughs> die die three days later from it whether it was because she was so distraught she commit suicide i personally don't feel like she commit suicide but i don't know all the facts so i can't you know i can't point fingers or i can't say whatever what i can point a finger at is that that officer should have never ever ever taken her into custody well, he didn't take her into custody. Oh, he said... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell you guys. He said that he took her into custody for assault. For assault. But I never saw her assault him. Actually, he assaulted her. So, why is he not being arrested, right? I think they say he's been put on desk duty. Oh, the poor guy's been put on desk duty now. Oh, what a big punishment for ultimately taking someone's life, right? And the reason you should be scared... It's because it could happen to you. It doesn't just happen to, you know, a loud mouth as they want to call her. Oh, if she would have just done what the officer said, if she would have just complied, if she would have just listened, if she... No, she knew her rights. She knew she didn't have to get out of the car. She did nothing wrong. She wasn't under arrest. Why did she have to get out of the car? Why did she need to bow down to his standards in her car? It's not like she was harassing or berating or treating him any different sort of way. I've been all over the place about this, guys. I mean, I, I stand the same in my decision every time. I've said it a hundred times that she should never have been arrested. Never, never, never. But I don't know what happened. None of us know. We None of us know what happened. The only people that know what happened are the people that were involved. And I would love to know. I mean, I personally, like I said, I don't feel like she committed suicide. There's so many conflicting reports, guys. There's so many conflicting reports and pictures and footage. And now the fucking uh, police department or the jail, whatever, are releasing all this footage that's so blurry and dark. You can't tell what the hell it is. And they're trying to pass it off as it being Sandra Bland walking up for her mugshot and... I just think it's also preposterous. And what else I think is really preposterous is the fact that it's huge on social media for two fucking days. And then after two fucking days, it's like fucking crickets. Nobody, it doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, it's been, it's been a few days, so it's over, right? No, it's not fucking over. It's not over because guess what? It's going to be you or me next, period. And what we know is that officer completely should have never arrested Sandra Bland for fucking failing to use a turn signal, right?